All right, we got to talk about this. So Zeta Slow! Yo, 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 it's your boy Zeta Slow, bringing you guys some Melt's Blood Type Lumina news. So, we have a new balance patch coming with our characters. So, not only are we getting um, Noel and Alco, we're also getting balance patch notes. So, the first line has me very intrigued by itself. So, in the first line, they're talking about balancing characters not by who's strong and making them nerfed. They're trying to find out who needs their strong points and weak points more emphasized. So, what that looks like is that looks like characters are all getting buffed, right? So, we're not really nerfing characters that are like looking, you know, strong. We're just trying to buff the characters that are looking a little bit weak. I like that philosophy, honestly. More games need to take that into account. Um, we've been saying that for quite a while. Instead of nerfing the good characters, just make the bad characters good. So, then everybody's having fun. And I think that philosophy should be adopted, honestly, wherever we go. But yeah, so my boy Tono, Tono doesn't look like he got touched too much. He's kind of just chilling. He's, he's been, you know, doing what he does. He's doing well still. So all they did was like fix a few things with his, um, basically his boundary pink things. So we're going to see how that works out. I mean, because it added invincibility time, which I thought it already had um, when he goes invisible or things like that when he does a little dash cut thing. So... I don't know what they did with that, but that's kind of nice. That's a nice change, honestly. I I'm looking forward to it. Um, so next for Arc, Arcweed um, has one of the better balance changes, I think. So um, her little um, uppercut into like palm move that like hits you through like the hits you to the wall. Um, every time you connect with that move, it becomes a jump cancelable move. So literally, I think I'm not sure if that means like from the ground. I think it's because it said landing cancel. So. I'm assuming every time like she lands after she does that, she can just re-jump it so it becomes a re-jump combo or maybe like a loop or something like that. And that's honestly sounding really, really cool because that move is really, really good. It's a really strong move in neutral, especially since it's a DP, um, but we don't really see them use it that much, I mean, outside of using it for a DP because it just doesn't have that combo ability that we wanted to have from everyone on the screen. So I'm really looking forward to see how people utilize that in the long run. Akiha. So Akiha has like probably some of the most changes. So they've just changed a lot about the way that she plays. So it seems like they've changed like a lot of her aerials. So the way that it looks like, it looks like they've changed the way that her um, jumping A looks. They changed the way that a lot of her moves seem to function in the air because especially when I played her, um, she seems like she drops a lot of combos when she gets to the air, which is like a good half of the game because Melted Blood is like one of the more aerial fighters. Um, you do half your fighting in the air because you have shield so it stays safe and things like that. So honestly, I think this was a good idea to buff her in that aspect because I feel like her pinwheel game and things like that on the ground were strong. Like pinwheel into the, the um, command grab, that setup is like the strongest setup in the game probably. And that's in neutral. So that's really, really good that they're buffing her aerial aspect. So I want to see what they do with her now because I, I know there's not a lot of Akihas because of her air game. Her air game was kind of very abysmal. So for your CL, they didn't really change too much. They kind of just changed the way that her um, keys work. I guess they bug, they fixed a bug or something like that. Um, little simple thing. So not really much to report there. So they made like so they made very specific changes to Hisui and Koaku. Um, I feel like they just kind of changed the way that their um, combo strings are set up a little bit. Um, they changed the way that the um, carpet goes out too. So whenever Hisui puts out the little um, the the lunch mat or whatever um i think it lasts longer i said i think it stays there longer so that's scary i don't know why they did that because i feel like they were already really good at sandwiching you in i mean to have that last longer you have to like really think that that's still back there while you're getting comboed or blocking and i, I think that leads to a lot of unblockable setups so i kind of don't know why they buffed them i thought they were pretty strong myself personally um just by playing them online a lot so, so Kohaku, so Kohaku had something I didn't know like really existed. So apparently when she dashed, she kind of low profile some things. Um, it never happened to me because Shiki's kind of at her height. So I wonder if that's like a blob issue or something like that. Maybe a Roa issue with his um lightning arc thing. So maybe they had to change that a little bit. So now she's like in line with everybody else instead of being shorter than everybody else when she's dashing. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know what that changed, but. More power to you guys. So Coma, okay, so Coma. Coma, Coma needed his change. So they, what they basically essentially changed for him 
was um ex is the c version of this the little punch fist thing that he does he has like the little wreck of the punches that turn to a kick at the end it's like punch punch like diagonal down kick or the diagonal i think it's kind of like up in an angle kick um so what they did was they changed the c version to have armor as well honestly i think oh, all of his moves in um c need armor just because i feel like that's the nature of his character his character is to get in and to stay in so if you have moves that don't keep you in i feel like and they put you at a disadvantage for real then you don't tend to use those moves because they're not worthwhile in neutral so i like that change that was not that bad and this is where the balance patch gets bad so they buffed mean man Roa himself so they buffed him so you know the little dash move you had across the screen you thought it was already safe before now it's double safe so you know just don't try to hit him out of that just let him do what he does shield it just get away stay away as far as you can because <laughs> now that move is overly safe now they buffed the recovery on that so now he is pretty much unpunishable on that move <laughs> honestly I don't know what they were thinking about that one that's fine but not quite what I wanted them to do with him. I mean, if anything, I think they should have buffed just his his neutral buttons because his neutral buttons are good. I feel like they lead in some really nice frame traps, but I feel like some of them are just direly unsafe. Like I know his um crouching C or two C is a little bit. I don't know. It's it's a little too unsafe for me to even just throw it out there in neutral. So maybe that's just by design. I'm not sure. But they also buffed. They also buffed his um jumping lightning thing like the blanco thing where he does in the air and like drops you down so they buffed his landing recovery so now he i don't know if they extended it i think they shortened it but um they changed the way that the duration of the landing recovery is so normally he does this he's in a big pause when he hits the ground um instead now i think it's just he's gonna be able to combo it more kind of like how the c version works so the c version you can do shh, lightning and then you hit the ground and then he's able to still react to things however on the a and b um he was not able to react and i think that's just how they're going to change it from now on for him now now say it with me guys lav has a louder voice now you're going to be hearing this all match no nah, not all match it's, it's just his idle animation but i find that so funny they said he wasn't loud enough so you know let's let's make him a little bit louder we had noel too loud that volume should have went to Vlav, obviously. And honestly, I think since his voice is very deep, it's really cool that they did that. Because Vlav is one of my favorite voices in the game. Like, like as a um announcer, great voice. As a character in the game, great voice. Like, I feel like he sounds so cool. Like, everybody else sounds like kind of zany and things like that. But he's just kind of, yeah, ice. Hit him with it. You know? Really cool. So... I'm happy that they buffed his voice. That's a really weird buff, right? But we're really happy about it. Um, they also buffed some of his other moves because I know some of his moves had a little bit of hit detection issues and things like that going on. Um, but yeah, it's like over here, or I think actually over here, um, where you'll see the change anyway. So I, I'm not gonna get too deep into those. I don't play them enough. My boy Soul does. Check him out. Hopefully play some Melty Blood on his channel soon. Wink, wink. All right, so. Let's talk about Wark. So Red Arc, all right. Red Arc, they buffed her um her air wind palm things. So now that she has less recovery, um honestly I think that's a good change. That might lead to some cooler combos because I started seeing some really cool combos with her um moon skill version of that move. Like people started just doing the delayed version of it, then they would meet them at the ground and relaunch it, and then do the same thing. Then all of a sudden your full quarter carried, and it's really really cool. Honestly, I think. Wark might be becoming one of the best characters in the game slowly. Um, we don't really like see too many, you know, we, we see enough of her. We don't see as much as we see of Ark, obviously. But I think we'll start seeing more of her soon, safe to say. Um, she's getting all these good buffs. All these things are like changing the way that she plays neutral for a better. So I don't see why people don't play her. Just pick her up real quick. So Saber, okay, so Saber, we'll, we'll talk about Saber. So Saber, I feel like she was like the diamond in the rough character, right? She's a real, like, you know, she's a star. She's the star of the game, right? A lot of people didn't know about Tsukihime. They knew about Saber. We're picking up the game, right? Saber, I feel like, has had the most struggles as far as adopting to the Melty Blood style of play. And I think it's because they used her as, like, a placeholder character or something like that. 
Um, so she kind of like plays the game, but she doesn't. She kind of plays her own thing a little bit. Um, honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing what she does now because they've they've done a lot of changes. They've changed so many different things about the way that she plays. Um, like from shortening recoveries to making her um, I think it's her to be a low. Um, they've done a lot of different things to make her better, and now they're giving her anti airs. So I mean, she had anti airs before. The little um, sword flick thing where she does the, um, the DP motion um, sword flick thing. And it's cool. It worked. It just was very slow. So if you missed, you were getting punished. Now I think they're just making it a little bit faster. So I think they're making her kind of an in-fighter character. Like, because she's always giving me like, like Balrog vibes, you know what I mean? Like she should be in there. She should be in on you at all times, right? But they're finally like really emphasizing the fact that she needs to go in so like just go in go in if they go in the air hit them with the flick real quick they're out of the air your turn to combo take them down they're done right so i think honestly the way they're adjusting saber is phenomenal i'm glad they haven't overtuned her because there's an easy way to overtune her and we've seen it in many um arxis games before with like bardock and things like that where layout was like stupid plus and things like that so they're trying different ways around that because I, I know they know about that issue, you know So kudos to them. But yeah outside of that I mean, I think like for the overall system changes There was just a few bug changes nothing that I feel like most people will notice because they were just very nuanced situation type deals But they're fixing them though. So that shows that they're like they really care about this game It shows that they're listening to fans. It shows that they're paying attention to matches and tournaments and things like that And that's all we can really ask for. I mean Outside of getting our two new girls, our, our two girls that are about to like wreck shop, I, I'm really like loving this game so far. Like, I, I, it's all I've ever wanted: a new multi blood, an HD with better gra you know, better graphics, more music, um, some of the same characters that I, I know and love from Actress again. But, but you know, with with cooler well, things going on, so. Honestly, that's really all I have to say. What do you guys think of the, the patch notes so far? I think they look really, really solid. I think that there's a very big, bright future for Melty if this patch goes over well for everybody. Because I know we got a lot of people coming back to try Alco. I know a lot of people are going to be trying this for the first time because Alco came out. Um, so kudos to you guys. Thanks for giving back into the game. Thanks for trying it again. Um, I'm looking forward to playing a few people at Frosty. Um, but yeah. If you like the video, definitely leave a like. Um, if you're new here, definitely hit the subscribe button. And I mean, if you have anything that I forgot to mention, or if you want to say something to me, you know, just leave a comment down below. All right, I always talk to you guys down there. So without further ado, we out of here. This is your boys that are slow. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Stay groovy. Peace.